Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your Yes or No Pick card of the week. I add this video every Monday to help you out with a question that you know you need a simple yes or no answer. And today we have four options, pendulum, tarot, oracle information here. So we're gonna get, we have less options because we have more in-depth answers here. So yes, no, why? And an advice here from the guides for you, why this is happening or why yes, why no? If you're new, consider subscribing. All my links are below. If you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shop, the crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you want to become a patron also of this channel, I do have Patreon open. I want to thank all my patrons for the support. We have a lot of fun with the patrons only live. So check that and you could get live readings from me and all other links for my decks and everything else that I have. Today we have four options and group one with fluorite, group two with smoky quartz, Group three with malachite and group four with black quart, uh, black tourmaline. So whichever one calls your attention is most likely the right one. But of course, you can watch the full video and see which one resonates most with your situation. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel. Everything will be in the description below. Again, guys, group one fluorite, two smoky quartz, three malachite, and four black tourmaline. Timestamp will be below. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose the floor, right? We'll start with the pendulum. So yes or no. Group one with the pendulum and we get more information with the tarot and oracle messages as well. Yes or no, group one. We have no. And find, it's interesting because we do have here, find the peace within. And sometimes you don't like to see a no, depend on what you are asking there. And the guides are saying, find this peace within. No can be a blessing. And there's a reason. You're going to find peace with that. Okay, so it's no, at least no for now. It's no for a negative question anyway. So you can find that peace within. But there's a reason here for you to find peace and uh, understand why it is a no. Let's get more information from the tarot. Anything else you can do to change the situation. We do have, uh, you can see this is actually interesting because it is the a star card so it's telling you hold on to the hope of you know turning things around or changing things in the situation being able to understand why it's happening king of cups okay so there's energy here of trusting your intuition there's a water signs as well cancer scarab Pisces could be you or someone involved in this question we do have the empress as well Five of Wands and the Hermit, the Peace Within with the Hermit, and we do have Temperance as well. So it really feels like an energy of have patience in this situation because you know, even the star is telling you look ahead with hope, have hope for the future, have hope that something better is going to come for you. So whatever is the situation, if it's no for now, no is a blessing because something better can come along, someone better, whatever is the situation, maybe it's a better job, a better person, a better result here. So they're telling you no, but you know, keep up the hope for something better. Trust your intuition. The Empress energy is showing that, you know, things can manifest, you know, and being able to trust that you can step into the power of the Empress here, manifest abundance, blessings, that uh, maybe you didn't expect or things that uh, you're setting yourself too short you know they're telling you no you can manifest something much better than this and the situation can be better than you're thinking to focus here because five of ones many times it's a conflict you know so it could be internal conflict could be external conflict could be people telling you what to do are you thinking about other people's opinions when you should really be thinking about your own what's important for you so i feel like the guys are telling you go within this is hermit energy so i feel like it's introspection energy healing energy first and then being able to have patience here balance everything so i feel like they're telling you no because there's a energy of waiting for what's better to come because there's something better there are blessings to come here with this empress energy that are much better than what you're thinking now but you know there's a need to have patience and go within and trust the divine time which is hard to trust you know it's hard to trust sometimes when we are already working hard and we don't see the results but they're telling you is divine timing and when we get there, we know why we had to wait or we know we ha why we had to say no to something and then be able to manifest what is really good for you. 
So I feel like there's an energy of healing here between Hermit and Temperance and also the energy of patience and allowing here things to unfold naturally as well. So the guides are telling you, trust, you know, have peace within, even if it's no for now. I feel like you can manifest something better in the future or, you know, whatever is the situation, they're telling you there is something for you ahead. I want to get a couple of cards here from the guides as well. Anything else I want to say to you? Growth is necessary. And with growth here, many times we need to let go of what's not serving. You know, for something to evolve and grow, there's a need to have a movement. There's a need to change something. There's a need to move to really let go of what's not serving and keep evolving and growing. So even if it's no, you're growing, you're learning, you're getting stronger here. So you can wait, so you can hold on to the light at the end of the tunnel. And even if there was something for you to deal with right now, so deal with yourself, with your peace within, with your healing, with your connection, with your higher self, with your guides, with your angels, having patience, balancing things. It feels like things are still balancing, still aligning for the right situation to unfold for you, for this answer to be a better one in the future. And perseverance is needed. So they're telling you, see, it's not because it's a no now that you'll never be able to manifest this or something better in the future. So I feel like they're telling you, have patience. You know, there's something better, someone better. Whatever the situation, they're telling you, it's not because it's no that you're going to give up in this area of your life. You're not going to give up on your, you know, love life or your career or the things that you really want to manifest, something really for you. They're telling you, there's a need to have patience, perseverance. And you can manifest something better. So I feel like it's no because it's a blessing. You will see that it's going to be worth the wait. That's how it feels here. That's what I have here for you, group one. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want the extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals in front of you, the decks that I use here, many of them are mine. All the links are there. If you're new, consider subscribing, like and share this video, it helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose smoky quartz, we start with the pendulum, yes or no, positive, negative questions. And remember, all my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy. All the links are there. Group two, yes or no. Ask a friend. So we do have ask a friend and with the smoky quartz here, the message under here is let it go. And this could be letting go of few things, you know, maybe it's ego, maybe it's thinking that you have to do all by yourself. When they're saying ask a friend, you could have someone there helping you out. Let go of negativity, let go of thinking that this can never happen. We do have a friend that can help you out. We do have the nine of pentacles so this is really stepping into your power here the energy your hard work payback and also we do have the wheel of fortune coming around here for you wheel of fortune we also have the warrior which is the knight of pentacles here so you can see the pentacles the energy we do have hierophant here anything else we do have the Four of Swords. And one more card here. We're going to get Oracle as well. We do have the Page of Wands. Yes, guys, this is a yes for you. They're telling you, do not hold back. Go after that friend, that advice, anything that this friend can help with, or you just needed to know more about the situation. They're telling you, Nine of Pentacles is an energy of your hard work will pay back. So if you have been working hard in this situation and you feel like um, doing all by yourself, they're telling you, you have already stepped into that power. You have done a lot by yourself and you see here a chance for the situation to unfold. Maybe you are waiting and things could have been a little bit slow, but they're coming. It's, it's slow and steady. That's how it feels here. So they're telling you, have patience here because even with the Hierophant energy, it feels like there's someone there to help you out. The hard front can many times be a guide, someone that's there, even if it's just for an advice, but it could be something specific that they help you with. So do not hold back in asking a friend because it's going to open the doors. It's going to give you clarity on my, of your mind here. You can see here with the will of fortune, I feel like your opportunity is going to come. So I feel like this is yes, you're going to manifest, resolve the situation. Maybe it's yes for negative questions. And that friend can be a mediator, can help you out in the situation if there's someone else involved here. 
or giving you a different perspective of the situation. But in any case, I see resolving, manifesting this with patience. So they're asking here with the, you know, between the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, you know, the bases here are in communication. So communication with a friend, communication with the, being honest to yourself, whoever's involved in a situation. Bases here of communication will open the door because even this page here is the page of fire, the page of wands here opening a door here for you, starting a new journey, ideas, creativity. So this could be for many different areas here for you guys. This is Taurus energy here. And uh, this this here with um, the fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But I do see the patience here playing for you guys to be able to align here and find the, the solution, find a way out and uh, seeing that your chance is going to come. So I feel like they're saying, have patience here. Even if they didn't manifest so far, they see your hard work, your, the universe is seeing your hard work here and they're telling you things are aligning. You know, it seems it's slow for us in a 3D, but in reality, you know, things are aligning perfectly and I feel like it's just a matter of time here for you to see this door here. I feel like this page of once is your opportunity, your offer, your door, your situation unfolding to a new journey for you. So definitely, yes, here for your group too. Let me see here. A couple of advices here from the guides. They're telling you happiness is here. So they're telling you guys, you're going to find that happiness. It's around the corner there. I'm telling you, your hard work was going to pay back. Even if you have waited a lot and you're like, when is this really happening? I'm telling you, it's aligning here for you. And follow your dreams. So they're telling you, your dreams here. What do you really want to do? Manifest, resolve in the situation. Do you want to be with someone? Do you want to have the specific job? Do you want to open your own business? Do you want to have a specific lifestyle? They wanted to do something for yourself, for your health, for your mind. Follow your dreams. What do you want to do? Not something for someone because the Nine of Pentacles is also stepping into your power. You're doing something for you that's important for you that you know is going to manifest. The Smoky Quartz is telling you, let it go. So this let it go is, I feel like, the energy of let go of anything that's holding you back. Don't be afraid to start again. Don't be afraid to let go of energies that are holding you. Sometimes it's a place, a person, an attitude. Sometimes it's a negativity, you know. So they're just telling you, pay attention to what's holding you back. Don't be afraid to let go because it's going to open new doors for happiness coming away. And I feel like it's the door, the energy of the flow that's coming your way. No doubt. Yes, yeah, guys, your hard work will pay back. For positive or negative questions, you'll see here manifesting, resolving the situation. Yes, for your group too. That's what I have here for you guys. I hope this helped out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shops. I do have one for the crystals, another one for my decks, and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group 3, if you chose Malachite, we start with the pendulum. Yes or no, group 3 positive or negative questions and you're gonna get extra cards here from the tarot oracle cards and understand here why yes why no yes or no try again and like i always say i do try again on the pendulum but i see the guys telling you try again in this situation don't give up easily try again interesting here so try again guys don't give up Maybe it has not been easy here, this situation trying to unfold, manifest, resolve. They're telling you, try again. See, you try again and you get a yes. So try again, guys, because yes, you can manifest, you can resolve this. But you may need to try again. We need to do a few things here. What else do you need to know? Group 3, it's a yes. We do have the Ace of Wands here straight away. We also have the Four of Pentacles. Also the King of Swords. Okay, jumping here for us. The Chariot here for you. What else? We do have the Devil. And we do have... Uh, the magician here 
very interesting card here for you guys group three this is a yes for you because you do have a door opening here i would say my aces are doors so there's a door of this fire energy it could be connection with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but it could be because you connect with your creativity with your career with your fire passion what do you want to do with your life they're telling you do not hold back to what's not serving you Sometimes we hold too much to things that are not serving us. Negativities, place, person, attitude. Connect with that fire, with that passion. You may need to try again, but yes, you can manifest. Now we do have the Knight of Swords here, which is telling you communication. Open up, make a decision here and go for what you want. Do not hold back. They're telling you go. It's something that's going to manifest quite fast here for you guys, even if you had to try again. They're telling you there are a couple of things for you to let go. And that could be negativities, stress, overthinking. You know, when you want something good to happen to us, but to get stuck in negativities. It's interesting because Malachi, you chose the message is it's time to transform. Okay, so it's time to allow the situation to transform for you. So let go of what's not serving because yes, you can manifest this. Maybe you need to try again. Maybe you need to really keep going, you know, being persistent, resilient, but they're telling you there's a decision here, things are going to start moving. Maybe you felt it stuck here, maybe in your career, love life, anything you're trying to do manifest here, but they're telling you here, things are going to start moving and it's because of a decision. And I feel like this decision of yours is to let go of what, what's holding you back here. Because even the between the four of pentacles and the devil energy, it's a perspective that we're stuck. Sometimes we hold back. We hold ourselves back to what's not serving. And they're telling you, you have the power to get out of the situation. You know, so anything that you feel is stuck or is holding you back. Like I always say, place, person, attitude, negativity. So they're telling you, you can manifest this. You can get out of this situation. You know, you're not as stuck as you may be thinking. It's a perspective. So it's one step at a time. And they're telling you here with this magician, you can manifest this. You have all the tools in your hands to manifest this. It's just a matter of taking one step at a time because the power is in your hands, you know, so you can do that. So they're telling you, yes, maybe you should try again. Maybe you should try different ways, but, you know, allow the transformation, allow the changes, allow to let go of what's not serving and you will see the result here because, yes, you can manifest or resolve this. Whatever you felt stuck, you're going to make a decision that you're going to see things moving here quite fast. A couple of extra messages from your guides. Look, three, cut the cords, you see? It's time to transform, guys. Allow the transformation. Cut the cords with the past, with things that are holding you back. Pay attention to what's holding you back. For you to manifest the situation, what's holding you back? Is it regrets, negativity, fear? Is it a place, a person, an attitude? You know, thinking worst case scenarios when in reality you have all the tools in your hands. You're not stuck as you think. Could be a, just a perspective. And you say, cut the cords and you see the doors opening. That ace of ones. Observe the patterns and cycles. And really is for you to think here, what's holding me back? My patterns, my cycles are the best way for you to start thinking here, what's holding? What is this that you need to cut the cords, that you need to allow the transformation so you can have that ace of ones, that door opening, connect with your fire, your passion, your creativity, your ideas, that right person, the right job, the right situation. Really focus what's good for me as well. Observe the patterns and cycles. What's repeating over and over that's no good for you? Is it the negativity in your mind? Is it the thoughts? So... You know what's going on here they're telling you you have all the tools in your hands to cut this and open this door because it's going to manifest blessings and you're going to see moving the energy of things moving quite fast after but it's a decision so that's why you need to try again and realize here yeah, i can manifest this i'm the magician i have all the tools in my hands that's what i have here for your group three i hope this helps out or resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions my link is below for private readings as well for my etsy shop the crystals is in front of you and much more is there if you're new consider subscribing like and share this video it helps the channel very much and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching hi group four if you chose black tourmaline we will start with the pendulum. Yes or no on the pendulum. And we will get some tarot oracle cards here to get more information. Yes or no. Group four. It's really moving between. Okay, it's asking I should try again. So the other group had try again as well. So do not give up when you have to try again. Because once you try again, you could be manifesting the situation, you could be having clarity to walk away from the situation, whatever it is. So 
So don't be afraid to try again. Try something different. You know, so being able to understand what's the best thing for me. They tell you, ask a friend. So try again. Don't be afraid to ask a friend. And they're telling you, you don't have the sun here, guys. The sun is a yes card for me on the tarot. So I do see this as yes. Do not give up. Try again. Because it's going to open a door here for you. Ask that friend for help. We also have the high priestess, the fool. Telling you, do not give up. You do have many majors. You do have the, the lovers. The other fool in this deck which is the one that uh, is completing a phase that's so interesting you're getting the two fools guys okay and you're telling you nine of ones so they're really telling you don't give up we did have try again nine of ones it really is a card for me that's telling you don't give up resilience persistence even if you're tired even if you didn't see the results yet the black tourmaline is telling you protect your energy so maybe there are negativities or difficult times there right now, challenges, whatever is the situation for you. But I see this as, yes, you try again, you ask a friend, you ask for help, whatever you need to do here, because you're going to open a door of blessings. The sun is here. So this is definitely a yes for me on the, on the tarot, but also because you have blessings, you have uh, happiness, you have clarity on your mind coming. So whatever was difficult to understand, connection with your intuition, with your higher self, high priestess is here. So you're connecting with your guides, with your higher self, your angels. So you have that clarity and the courage to jump in and take a leap of faith in the situation. So if you need to start again anyway, guys, don't worry about that because this other fool here is a completion. You see, this is actually card 22 because this is the energy of you will be able to jump in and you'll be able to complete the situation. You'll be able to have success here. You'll be able to be happy. Trust your heart here. This is also the lovers, but not just because of love connections. It's because you trust your heart to make a decision. There's a choice here coming away. Maybe it's a love connection that you're asking, but also because trust your heart. You can jump in and complete the situation. Even if you feel like you need to take a little bit of a breather, you need to step out, see how can I really do this, try again, ask a friend, whatever you need to do, the guys are telling you it's going to be worth. You're going to open a door of blessings, clarity of your mind, connections, completions. So you do have two fools here telling you, you start this journey and you complete this journey, really understanding more. Do you see how they change colors? It's because there's a lot of learning in the situation. So you're learning a lot here, group four with these. That's why they say protect your energy as well. Maybe you are around the negativities and difficult times and they're telling you, you will be able to manifest blessings here, even through challenges. So yes, here for positive, negative questions, maybe resolving something that's negative. But they're telling you, you'll be able to, you know, if you really want to take this leap of faith, you'll see the results here big time. Many major cards here, so something that can be very important for you, something significant in your life here, but you're going to see the results. Don't give up. It's a yes. Also, trust the divine timing. Okay, maybe you have been working really hard and you didn't see the results yet and they're telling you, don't give up. Try again. Ask for help. Ask for a friend. Reach out because trust the divine time is aligning here for many blessings for you. Even if you feel like a stillness, even if it feels like you're so tired, or you didn't see the results yet, they're saying no. The doors that you're going to open here are going to be so worth the wait. This is the right time aligning with everything. We feel like it's a slow in the 3D. But in reality, you know, in the spiritual side, there's no such thing as time. Everything is aligning perfectly. So also release negativity and indecisions. You see here with that protect your energy, any negativities, any indecisions here. Indecisions to jump in, take a leap of faith, try in this situation. They're telling you, don't hold back. You have really the chance here to jump in and complete beautiful phases and see many blessings coming away here. No doubt it's a yes for you, group four. Maybe you are going through challenges. Maybe it's a difficult time. You do need to trust the divine timing. You do need to try again. Maybe ask for help, but they're telling you it's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be worth it. the effort here because you're going to see things that are connecting with your heart, with, uh, you know, blessings, doors opening, happiness coming away, no doubt. That's what I have here for you, group four. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you, the decks I use, and much more there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching.